Hi Year 4, this is Miss Swire and this is your second reading lesson of this week. So our reading strategies today are clarifying and evaluating and we are still looking at the whole class reading text Can We Save the Tiger by Martin Jenkins. It's the one that we started yesterday. Does anybody remember from yesterday's learning what did we mean by clarifying and evaluating? So clarifying is where you do not understand a part of a text, so you might search for its meaning. We said yesterday this might be that you might look for the meaning of a word in the dictionary, or you might ask somebody else or reread a part of the book. Evaluating is where you assess the techniques that the author uses, for example, why they may choose a particular word or phrase, and thinking about the effect that it might have on the reader. You may also have a look at why a text is organised in a particular way. You can see on the slide here that we've got two lots of sentence stems. We've got our clarifying and we've got our evaluating, and we're going to be using these in today's lesson. Our key vocabulary for today includes Pachula snails, which is a genus of air-breathing tropical land snails, also known as a Polynesian tree snail. We've also got Africa, which is the world's second largest and second most populous continent. Here is an extract from our book. I'm going to read this aloud to you. As I'm reading, Try and follow along with your finger. Petula snails live on islands in the Pacific Ocean, miles from anywhere. There are lots of different kinds and they've been here for millions of years. When the first people arrived on the islands hundreds of years ago, the Petula snail didn't seem to mind too much and just got on with their living, feeding on leaves in the forest. Then, about a hundred years ago, people brought a different kind of snail onto the islands. This was the giant African land snail. They brought it because it's good to eat. It makes especially a delicious snail soup and is very easy to look after. The giant African land snails rather took to the islands and soon there were loads of them many more than anyone wanted to eat, and it turned out that they had pretty healthy appetites themselves. Soon they were chomping their way through people's crops as if there was no tomorrow. Something had to be done. And you can see on the page there a picture of the giant African land snail. And it says it is found originally in East Africa, and is now parts of different parts of the world, including, including Asia, South America, the West Indies, and the islands in the Pacific Ocean. Goodness me, I'm not sure if I would cope well with a giant snail. So, when we're looking at this book, we're going to be having a think about, is there any words that we don't understand? And if there are some, we need to use our clarifying sentence stems now to think about how we can clarify its meaning. Write down any words that you found tricky during that and that you need to clarify after this lesson. I also want you to have a look at the evaluating sentence stems at the bottom. I want you to have a think about if you think that the structure of this text needs to be improved. Why do you think that the author has made some of the font larger than the rest? I'd like you to write down one clarifying sentence and one evaluating sentence using the sentence stems on this slide. Pause the video now to do so, and when you are ready, just press play again. For today's selfie, we are asking you to read some of your own individual book that you've got at home. When you are reading it, I want you to have a look if there are any words that you do not understand and how did you clarify the meaning of the word? You've got sentence stems to help guide your clarifying sentences. These say a word that I didn't understand was and to clarify the meaning of the word I. 
Your second part is that you need to choose a word or a phrase that you think works well in your text and explain why. So you're going to evaluate its effectiveness and you're going to use the sentence stem. The word or phrase works well because. I really hope you're enjoying reading at home at the moment and please do make sure that you continue to fill in your reading journals that you have got. I can't wait to hear about any of the books that you've been reading at home and share some of the ones that I've been reading as well. I look forward to speaking to you all soon on your Zoom calls and hearing about all the wonderful reading that you've been enjoying. Take care. Bye.